All right, well, it is another chilly March day, but uh, the adventures will continue regardless. Um, I am in Schuylkill County this morning in Pennsylvania, the southwest corner of it, and just up here is the Lebanon Reservoir. And out here also is a place called Jeff's Swamp. I'm gonna be in between the two places. But uh, about, f I've been here a number of times, but about five years ago, I was off trail along the creek in there and I found what looked like uh, an Indian or a Native American grinding stone or grinding, well not a bowl, but a depression in a stone where they would grind grain with a, with a grinding stone. Um, I took a picture of it, but I, I was kind of in a hurry, I was kind of off trail trying to get back to where I parked, but it, it stuck in my mind though, so I'm going to go back there today to try and find it again and check it out but it didn't seem natural to me. It looked like a grinding stone, what they call a grinding stone. So I'm gonna go back, see if I can find it, and then I'll you know, take a second look at it. Um, but I'm gonna show you a picture of what I found. I did take a picture of it from five years ago, so I'll show that to you now. So yes, yeah, some of you might think that looks interesting. Others of you might right off the bat say that that's not what that is, but uh, I'm going to go back anyway and check it out and uh, give it a second opinion, I think. Because looking on the maps, it's, it's I want to check the area out too, because looking on the maps, it's kind of a, it would make a good place for an Indian village or encampment as well, so we'll see. We'll make an adventure of it anyway. It's a beautiful area up there too, so it'll be worth it. Oh yeah, over there is the old Swatara iron furnace. Looks like they're doing some work on it, which is good. Let's continue on. So here's a look at the reservoir. Makes for a scenic spot. Yeah, we're gonna continue on this trail here though. Down here is a beautiful spot. I'd love to build a you know log cabin along the shore of the reservoir or the lake here and all these pine trees. Beautiful spot. But that's not gonna happen. <laughs> That is a sight though. Down here is the one stream that feeds into the reservoir. This is Fishing Creek. And there's a, a cable bridge here that I'm going to use to make my way across. Well, these are always fun to cross. Not really, sometimes.
All right, so I'm gonna be off trail now for the rest of this adventure. Um, that cable bridge brings you across and there's a trail that takes you back towards the reservoir, but we're going away from the reservoir into the middle of nowhere. So, and that grinding stone was on this side of the creek, so that's why I'm crossing. So, off trail adventure from now on. always beautiful out here, beautiful scenery. Well, I was walking along and looked over there and I got spooked. Pretty awful. So I looked, there's like a Someone's sweatshirt just hanging in the tree there. I didn't know what in the world that was at first. I see like someone just standing there staring at me. It's not what you really want to have when you're out in the woods by yourself. Some weirdo just staring at you. But it's just someone's shirt or something out here. It's kind of odd. Okay. I think I just let that go and move on. Well, with all the beautiful scenery, I'm having trouble remembering what I came out here to do in the first place, and that's to find that stone. I have to keep reminding myself to, to look. Plus, as I'm looking here, there's so many stones, so. Stones are everywhere. So. We'll see, I'm still hoping I can find this, what I think might be a, a grinding stone, but if I, even if I don't find it, it's a nice time out here. We'll see, we'll see what happens. To be honest, I'm starting to lose hope a little bit here. I've been walking for quite a while. Of course, the terrain has changed you know, somewhat since I was here. There's like a little beaver dam up there, lots of fallen trees, so you know, it could be under that beaver dam. Who knows what, but I'm gonna keep going yet a little bit more. Hope we'll find it. I know it's out here because I, I do have a picture of it, but it's exactly where it was. I don't remember. I'm just kind of wandering right now. This stream is a lot more spread out too. When I had found that stone I was looking for, uh, a lot of this was more dried up. It was a midsummer, so. Well, when I'm walking along, what I think right now is the bank of the stream may have been out there more back then, so the rock I'm looking for may be actually out further out there, but oh well. We'll keep looking though. You never know. Well, here's where an old logging road or a forest road comes across the creek. So it's headed up on that way up the mountain. I've been up that way a number of times and back that way. But I remember when I found the stone the first time, I was coming back. There was a swamp up that way. I was coming back this way. I was pretty sure the stone was on this side of the road, but I could be wrong. But I'm going to walk. I'm going to continue on a little bit more. We'll see. But it doesn't go too much farther. It doesn't go too much further and you end up in a swamp. And I know it wasn't up there. But we'll keep looking.
Well, I've crossed to the other side of the creek now, and I'm gonna start making my making my way back. I'm gonna try and hook up with that uh, that old road I showed you down the ways a little bit. That'll take us back to the reservoir. So, yeah, I was hoping to find that stone again, but you know, it's one thing to sit at home and think about. Yeah, I'm gonna go out and find that stone. It should be shouldn't be too hard to find. And then when you actually get out here, you know, reality kind of hits you. Like, wow. There's a lot of these stones out here. Not, not the ones I'm looking for, obviously, but you can see there's, yeah, so. And like I said, I'm not exactly sure where I saw it the first time I knew it was on that side of the creek somewhere, but yeah, well. But I think I'm gonna post this video anyway, because it was, it was an adventure coming out here. Like some beautiful scenery, walking along this valley, along this creek. So, you know, you don't always find what you're looking for, but the adventure of, trying to find it is still enjoyable so you know still worth coming out here all right getting rained on with some debris all right well, I'm gonna start making my way back trying to find that road back here Send it back to this old forest road. You can see we were up there earlier. See the trail goes up. There's a piece of clothing hanging in there. It's apparently there's some naked guy running around the wilderness out here. And of course, this is the road, but it's kind of flooded, but it dries out up there. So yeah, find all this clothing out here. That was a little creepy. But anyway, all right, get up to where it dries out up here. It's, it's not always unusual to find clothing out in the woods, but this is a pretty remote area, so you know, if you're hiking near a city, you, know, you can always find shoes and hats and jackets laying around, but there's not a whole lot out here. This is pretty remote, so finding clothing out here is a little more odd. We're back out at the reservoir again. Let's walk down here and take a look. A little waterfowl out here though. Down with it more here. Get a view out looking that way. That's pretty cool out there. Yeah, I like that view. Well, we're back at the truck. And like I said, we didn't find. I didn't find exactly what I was looking for. I was pretty much looking for a needle in a haystack, but you know, time spent out in the woods like that with you know beautiful scenery and stuff is it's never a waste of time. So anyway, thanks for coming along with me again, and uh, I'm not sure where I'll see you again where I'm going to head next, but that's where I'll see you. All right.